Hello, my name is Scott Galatly, Product Manager for Gamblin Artist Colors. In this video demonstration, we'll be discussing Gamblin's two picture varnishes, Gamvar picture varnish and cold wax medium. Starting with the Gamvar, Gamvar provides a protective gloss surface onto a finished painting. It is water clear and stays water clear over the life of the painting. Gamvar is formulated with Gamsol, odorless mineral spirit, so it is virtually odorless to apply and it is removable with this very mild solvent. Gamvar is now available in premixed bottles. Like all varnishes, it should be applied as freshly as possible. We recommend buying and using what you think you might use in a year or two. One of the most common questions that we get from painters is, when can the painting be varnished with Gamvar? And to test for this, we recommend finding the thickest area of the paint, gently pressing in with your fingernail, and when the painting feels dry and hard throughout, it can be safely varnished with Gamvar. I'm gonna be using a brush that we recommend called the Omega Lily Varnish Brush which is available on the dry goods and apparel section of the Gamblin website. What's nice about this brush is that it holds a very small amount of Gamvar at one time. When applying the Gamvar, we recommend brushing it on as thinly as possible. Removing some of the varnish from the brush will aid in this, even dabbing some off on a paper towel. When it goes to applying the varnish itself, we recommend using a vigorous action and trying to cover as much of the surface of the painting with as little varnish as possible. This will ensure an even coating and prevent it from beating up on the surface. One of the other common questions we get from painters is how to reduce the gloss level of the Gamvar. To adjust it just slightly, you can add 10 to 20 percent additional Gamsol to the Gamvar which creates a thinner varnish coating and lowers the gloss. The other way to create more of a satin varnish is to actually dissolve some cold wax medium into the Gamvar. To do this, we recommend dissolving the cold wax medium down in the Gamsol first by mixing it thoroughly with a palette knife so it's a slurry consistency. This slurry consistency represents about 20% that's mixed into 80% Gamvar. And this is a good ratio to create a satin varnish. For painters who want a completely matte surface on their work, the cold wax medium can be applied straight. To do this, we recommend using a soft cloth. To apply the cold wax straight, simply apply some onto the cotton cloth and gently rub it onto the surface of a painting in a small circular motion. Like the Gamvar, the paint layers below should be thoroughly dry to the touch to withstand the process of applying the wax. For a completely matte surface, you can let the cold wax simply dry. Or for a soft luster, you can wait about four to six hours and gently buff it. A varnish should be thought of as a sacrificial protective coating to the painting where all the dust and the dirt that accumulates on the painting accumulates on the removable varnish rather than the paint layers below. Both Gamvar and cold wax medium are easily removable with our Gamsol solvent. To do this, simply take two rags, one wet with Gamsol, the other dry, and fully saturate the varnish layer with the wet rag and let it dissolve, and then pick up the dissolved varnish with the clean rag. I hope that this video demonstration gives you some tips on applying these varnishes, as well as a way to customize the surface quality to your own taste. If you have any additional questions, feel free to give us a call or email us through our website, gamblincolors.com. Thank you for your support of our materials.